Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Safe Travel RV, upgrades, tips and tricks. Big Al here. Today we're gonna to talk about a problem that every RV type has, it doesn't matter what kind you own, and that's these grab bars on your RV. They're important, they're needed, but let me show you something. This one, nice and solid. You come up in here, and this one is all floppy and unsafe. Nobody wants to put a bolt all the way through this jam and bolt it to the outside. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to fix it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove these four uh, square head screws that's holding this grab rail in place. Okay, as you can see, these are, uh, these are inch and a half screws. These are bent. So they've been under stress for quite some time. And in my opinion, they're a little bit too small. What, what the manufacturer did, well, they put in this little furring strip behind this trim piece. And then they drilled back in here to catch this door frame, which is an aluminum door frame. It's about an inch wide. So the holes in that aluminum have just wallered out and gotten loose. And that's why these aren't holding. So we're gonna put in new holes in this frame bigger screws, and then I'm gonna bond this with a construction adhesive directly to here to make that one solid piece. And I'll either even secure it in a couple of other places with some countersunk screws just to make that one solid unit. Then we'll re-drill our holes, re-tap into that aluminum uh, framing and put some new screws back in. Okay, this should be a quick and easy little fix here. Uh, as you can see, these are the original screws that were holding that grab rail on. They have definitely seen better days and they were undersized in my opinion. I've upgraded to these uh, quarter inch by inch and a half sheet metal screws. We're gonna use these. Uh, I would recommend spray painting those heads black before you install them. Uh, tomorrow we'll tap new holes and then drive those things in and that'll take care of the problem. But for right now, we're going to uh, use this product here to uh, apply those strips to the back of that trim piece there. They're great products, they work really well. These little trim pieces are actually a filler that go behind this trim right here. And as you can see, the manufacturer drilled those too close to that outside edge. The center line is actually right there of that stud that's behind there. So that's where we're gonna drill our new pilot holes, actually a little bit below that but uh, we'll do that tomorrow. But right now we're just gonna install those strips and let those set up overnight and then we'll move on from there. Okay guys, you ready for it? Big Al's bonus tip. I uh, just got through using this. There's a lot of it still left. I wanna use it again. So this is what I do. As soon as I take it out of my caulk gun, I bang it a couple times on the countertop to let it settle down. Take my hot glue gun. And I guess put some glue in there, leave a little bit on the top so I can grab it when it dries, and that will keep that from drying out. I use it all the time, it works great. Okay, so here we are on uh, second day. We've uh, glued our strips in yesterday. They're nice and solid in there. So that's all been taken care of. Get ready to drill our hole. It's in line with that stud that's framing out this door, that metal stud. So this is gonna be my first hole. We're putting in a quarter inch uh, lag screws so our pilot hole has to be 730 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that now all the way through the plastic, the wood, and into the metal, keeping this drill bit horizontal or perpendicular to, the, to my work. All right, we're all the way through. Now, a little trick I like to do is I always, well, I always have an extra one of these bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my threads with this bolt on all of my holes that I drill. And then I'll come back and put in our permanent bolts. This will just keep from damaging the threads on my new bolts. Plus I painted the heads black, so we want them to stay looking good too. So we're just gonna run this through until I feel it grab that metal stud back there. And 
There it goes right there. All right, so I know I got it 90 degrees to this, so it, it looks really good. So we're gonna back that out and then we're gonna mark our other holes and drill them. Okay, so that's gonna complete the uh, reinstallation of this grab bar on our RV here. As you can see now, it's pretty solid. It's locked in there really good. Uh, I can tell you why I think it failed from the factory. One is uh, I think this screw was undersized for what it was requiring of this grab bar to do. And plus, I noticed the first time I tried to tighten this up, all the screws were loose. So just going down the road caused them to back out, which made the matter even worse. So we replaced these screws with this quarter inch screw. And then I used a thread lock on the screws when I put them back in there. Now I wanna warn you when you start uh, putting these new screws back in, as soon as they get tight, only turn it about a quarter turn more because you can strip out that metal stud back there and then you have to start all over. So a quarter turn once these things seat down and start getting tight. After that, I think you're good to go. Nice and solid, it's a good safety upgrade for this RV. All right, that's gonna do it. So until next time, folks, safe travel.